Hey, good afternoon. I'm coming to you for 31 Days of Faith. This is day 15. Robin Smiley here with Come Up Higher Ministries. Had to bring you guys a recorded version on today. Sorry, I couldn't make it live, but work called. So, you know, we have to do all things as unto the Lord. But nevertheless, we have a word for today for our 31 Days of Faith. As I mentioned already, this is day 15, so we're like halfway through. We've got 16 more days to go, and it's been an exciting journey just studying and about faith. If you're tuning in for the first time, what God has said is that for the month of October, as this is the, the month of divine order and the first month of the last quarter of this year, that we really needed to buckle down and strengthen our faith. So each day we've been having about 10 to 15 minutes of, of just a quick Bible study on the word faith and looking at different scriptures on faith and how we can apply them to our life. <clears throat> and so we're going to continue um, with that today with day 15. And our topic today is what's your capacity? What's your capacity? And you'll understand um, how we got that title. Um, actually, really, it's it's um, what's your reputation to. Um, but um, we're going to go with what's your capacity um, for now. So what's your capacity? And so we're looking at two um, scriptures in the book of Acts. And the first one we're going to look at is Acts chapter 6, Acts chapter 6, verses 1 through 8. Now, our primary focal verses will be verse 5 and verse 8. But to keep it in context, um, we're going to read from 1 through 8 and discuss that first. And then we'll look at Acts 11 and verse 24. <clears throat> All right. So Acts 6 verses one through eight. And it says, now in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplying, there arose a complaint against the Hebrews by the Hellenists because their widows were neglected in the daily distribution. Then the 12 summoned the multitude of the disciples and said, it is not desirable that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. So the, the apostles, right, they, they were on assignment and they knew that they needed to stay focused on studying the word and being prepared to minister the word, right? Not that they thought they were too good to serve tables, but they knew that they could not afford at this time to get distracted. And this is what God is saying to us about this last quarter, that we cannot afford to get distracted. We have to stand firm in our faith. We have to stand strong in our faith. And so that's why we're looking at 31 days of faith throughout this month. But again, so verse two, it says, then the 12 summoned the multitude of the disciples and said, it is not desirable that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Therefore, brethren, seek out from among you seven men of good reputation, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. So again, we see here, they, they were focused. They were like, we've got to stay in prayer. We've got to stay uh, focused on the word. And that's what we're going to do. But we need you guys to find somebody. Look at what they're looking for, right? I said um, the title was, what's your reputation or, and even what's your capacity? But they said, seek out from among you seven men of good reputation, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. So just even a side note there, when you are looking for help, you want to find people that have a good reputation. You want to find people that are full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom. Why? Because if they're full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, they're going to um, conduct your business almost as if it was their own, right? They're going to do things according to what the Holy Spirit tells them and according to wisdom, not according to what they think, right? If they're of good reputation, they're not going to try to undermine you. They're not going to try to usurp your authority. They're not going to try to, you know, steal your business right from you. So you want to make sure you find people that are there to help you, you know, that have a like-mindedness with you, right? That they are of good reputation, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, right? And then verse five, this is the first focal point as we're talking about what is your capacity and what is your reputation. So we see the reputation there that we need a good reputation. Our reputation needs to be good and it needs to also include being full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom. 
And so it says here in verse five, it says, and the saying pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit. And Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas, and a proselyte, and Nicholas, a proselyte from Antioch, whom they set before the apostles. And when they had prayed, they laid hands on them. So again, verse five, they chose Stephen, right? Verse four is, or verse three, it says, seek out somebody with a good reputation and full of the Holy Spirit. And how is Stephen defined? It says they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit. So we see here that a part of our reputation and in in what is our capacity, we need to be people that are full of faith, right? And the Holy Spirit. Then verse seven says, then the word of God spread and the number of disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem and a great many of the priests were obedient to the faith. Verse eight, and Stephen, full of faith and power, right? This time the word power is used instead of the Holy Spirit, but we know that power comes from the Holy Spirit. It says, and Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. So we see here that the reputation that we need to have is we need to be good, first of all, and we need to be full of faith, right? We need to be full of faith and the Holy Spirit. So I just wanted to look up the word full just so we could really get an understanding of what that means, right? It says completely filled, containing all that can be held, filled to the utmost capacity. So when you think about your, your faith, is it full to capacity or is there some room for doubt? Is there some room for uncertainty? Is there some, some room for wavering, right? We want to have the reputation that our faith is full, meaning that it's full to the capacity, that there's no, there's no opportunity, there's no space for the enemy to get in and try to create doubt and, and uncertainty, right? We need to be full to capacity. So what is your capacity? That's what, what I want you to reflect on after we finish today. You know, really do a self-evaluation and say, you know, how is my faith level, right? Again, if we think about the gas tank, we have we have um, meters on our gas tank to, to show us the levels where we are, right? When it's full and even sometimes you put a little extra in it, the line will go beyond the full mark, right? And also uh, when we're on empty, right? And, and nowadays cars will give you how many miles you can go before you're going to be completely empty, right? And so we need to do a self-evaluation of our faith tank. What, what is our capacity? Where do we stand? Because in this last quarter, again, guys, we need to make sure that our faith tank is full, that it is full to capacity, that we are not um, in any means um, in a situation where there's an opportunity for doubt or uncertainty and even fear to creep in that will cause us to waver in our faith, right? Because we've already looked at previous lessons about what happens when we waver in our faith and from the book of James. When we waver in our faith, we can't expect to receive anything from God. And when you think about it, when you're wavering in your faith, right, it just simply delays all that God is, is going to do, right? It puts you in a cycle. So then you have to, to go back around to the point where, okay, I'm really believing, I'm standing and believing, I'm praying and believing that I'm gonna receive what I asked for, right? And, you, and you're there and you're charged up, right? And we have to get back to that point. So it, it, it causes a delay in the manifestation of God's promises when we waver. So we want to make sure again, that we are what? full of faith like Stephen was. And what happens when you're full of faith? It says he was full of faith and power, right? And he did great wonders and signs among the people. When we are full of faith, we are confident, right? So when God sends us to pray for someone or when God says, you know, I need you to call so-and-so and give them a word, right? Because we are so full of faith, 
we will do wonders, right? When God sends us into the hospital or to the nursing home to lay hands on the sick, because we are so full of faith, we will go with confidence, going with the power of the Holy Ghost, knowing and trusting that God is using us to bring about a manifestation of healing, right? So we want to make sure that we are always full of faith and the Holy Ghost, because what that does is that activates the power that is down on the inside of us. That causes us to do the greater works that Jesus said he left us here to do. Amen. All right. So let's look at our second scripture. Our second scripture for today comes from Acts 11 and verse 24. Acts 11 and 24. And I'm going to have to probably back up on this one too, but it reads for he was a good man. So we see a reputation. He was good and full of the Holy Ghost. So not only was he good, but he was full of the Holy Ghost and of faith. He was a good man. He was full of the Holy Ghost and of faith. And much people was added unto the Lord. Now this scripture is actually talking about Barnabas. And so let's just go back a little bit um, just to get an idea of what they're saying. Uh, let's see, where do I wanna start? Um, wow. Let's see here. I should have been a little better prepared, My, I'm sorry, guys. Um, there's so much here. Well, this is Peter talking and he's sharing about an experience that he had um, when he was ministering. So I'm just gonna start in 22. Um, you know, because I've given you some backdrop. Peter is sharing about an experience he had when he was ministering and what happened um, in Joppa. And so in verse 22, it says, then the news of these things came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent out Barnabas to go as far as Antioch. So Barnabas was tagged to go out and continue the work that Peter had already started. And it says, when he came and had seen the grace of God, he was glad, right? So when Barnabas got to, to where he was being sent, right, all the way into Antioch, he saw the grace of God. He saw the enabling power of God. He saw the works of God already in, in progress. And he was glad and he encouraged them all that with the purpose of heart, they should continue with the Lord. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith and a great many people were added to the Lord. So we see here that when we are full of faith and the Holy Ghost, we can go forth with boldness and we can lead people to Christ. In both instances, we see how many people came to, to the Lord, came to know Jesus, right? Because they were full of faith, they were full of the Holy Ghost, and they went forth in boldness, they went forth in the power of the Holy Ghost, they did signs and wonders, and they convinced people and they shared the gospel with others and they gave their life to Christ. So again, what's your reputation? What's your capacity? Do you have the reputation of being good? Do you have the, the reputation of being one who is full of faith and the Holy Ghost, right? The two go together. You got to have the Holy Ghost and be full of faith in order to really be bold with the things of God. Amen. And so, again, reflect on that. Just begin to think about where where, where do I stand? Where's my faith tank? Where, what's the level of my faith tank? Right. And so our um, declaration for today is simple. You may have already figured it out. Um but today for day 15, our declaration is, I declare that my faith tank remains full to capacity. I declare that my faith tank remains full to capacity. And again, we want to be, we want to have a good reputation. We want to be thought of as one who is full of faith and full of the Holy Ghost. And when our faith tank is full to capacity, there's no room for doubt. There's no room for uncertainty. There's no room for wavering. We can just go forth in boldness and do what God has called us to do. 
So that's our 31 days of faith for day 15. I pray this blessed you guys. Um, again, if you're watching for the first time, we'll be doing 31 days of faith in the entire month of October. You can also catch me every morning, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. on Facebook Live and here on YouTube as well at 6 a.m. for Rise and Shine devotional and then on Saturdays and Sundays at 7.30. So, all right, guys, you have a, a, a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, and I will see you guys in the morning at 6 a.m. All right, bye-bye.